December 16th, 2024. The date where my first ever tech video was released. And it marks the 7th month anniversary of this channel. So guys, thank you so much. Over 7 months, we have gotten 330 subs, okay? And that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure about you. But yeah, the video was pretty terrible quality. I mean, I didn't even show the average is. I didn't even show benchmark music. In fact, I showed the games loading. I didn't even edit that out. So yeah, today is going to be an updated video of the HP Pavilion G6, a computer legendarily known, if anyone you know see, is an OG of this channel. Everyone knows that this was my daily driver for like the past five years and it has not given up the only thing that has happened is that the wi-fi card died and that's a bit my fault because i sort of um uh, spilled a drink on the wi-fi card but it's fine okay it's fine okay as well we have this wi-fi usb thing that gives us 5g wi-fi so yeah definitely definitely it's it's okay so uh yeah let's go and turn this on so between the time it has taken, yeah, I don't want this thing, you know, to breathe in dirty air from the carpet. Uh, and the time has, um, uh, the difference of time between when I recorded this, when I, um, I made the original one, you know, which was the first ever video on this channel. And now I have gotten several more benchmark games. I have optimized the windows on this computer. And yeah, I just, you know, this is going to be a more proper benchmark, you know. Especially since um, uh, I have an HDMI capture card, which let me just actually, in which as you can see here, my mess of co of cables. This is the HDMI capture card. Okay, so guys, I am happy to announce that now um, uh, for the benchmark section, any laptop that has an HDMI port, I should be able to do a video capture on, and it should be decent and it should be better quality than just me, you know, holding the camera like this. But you know, I'm still gonna hold the camera for like these intros and you know, talking about this laptop. So, uh, yeah. So, this was the first ever laptop that I had owned. Well, you know, technically, the first one I ever owned was the 17-inch um, uh, modern laptop, you know. That was the one that I bought. But this was the first ever laptop, you know, the first ever old laptop that I owned, you know. That I got for free because, you know, it was it's getting old. Oh, uh, yeah. You can hear those fans rumbling. Probably can't hear it, but yeah, it's definitely moving here. It's probably because I, yeah, I should probably prop this up on something. All right, we are propping this thing up on a Chromebook because I just want to let everyone know that this thing is better than the Chromebook, okay? So actually, the the, the how I daily drove this was that um, uh, when I went to school, this would be the laptop that I used in school, okay? Until when, you know, a few months ago, I released a short um, uh, link. Um, uh, link will be right here or, you know, yeah. Um, uh, I released a short saying how I'm retiring this thing, but I'm actually planning on bringing it back to life, okay? And so, probably for, um, uh, the next year or so, I'm gonna be daily driving this, and also the G56, okay? Now, I know the G56 kind of sucks compared to this, like, the, other than GPU, this thing beats it in every single way, it has more RAM, better CPU, more cores, better battery life, but look here. It has a better GPU than G56, so it can run actual modern Minecraft, okay? But yeah, as you can see here, we have a bunch of new games, like, you know, I already said this in the G56 video, which link will be right here as well. And yeah, so uh, yeah, guys, this, um, uh, I reinstalled Windows 11. This is Tiny 11, not Windows 11 Home, just stock. So yeah, the benchmark should be better. And as you can see here, if I go in, for example, like open up a tab, this thing is quick. It can still do everything you need it to very quickly. In fact, I see barely any difference between this and my 7600X 5070 PC, okay? RTX 5070. Because, yeah, I mean, it's just browsing the web. This thing is really good at that, okay? Because, you know, at this point, this thing's fast enough that for browsing the web in general use, my Wi-Fi is the bottleneck here. And that means, and since I have pretty decent Wi-Fi, about 200 megabits, this, um, uh... This is, that means that this is pretty decent. Let's go and see how many subs we have now, actually, while we're at it. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to say um, uh, thank you guys for all the support. We are at basically 330 subs. And yeah, guys, thank you so much, okay? And yeah, if you want to see, like, 
you know, like the features of this laptop, you should go click um, uh, this link here. This is a link to the first ever video on this channel. Um, uh, it's pretty bad quality, I will have to warn you. It's because it's, you know, it's old. It doesn't have, you know, the benchmark music or the average frame rate or M1% lows. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, on to the benchmarks, okay? Because I don't want to keep you guys waiting here on a lo lo long introduction. So this HP Pavilion G6 is packing 8GB of DDR3 1066 MHz dual channel RAM, which is pretty decent. Um, uh, it's got an Intel Core i3-370M at 2.4GHz with 2 cores and 4 threads, and for this era, it was actually pretty good, and that's its, it's, that's its max clock speed. And it's got 256GB of SSD with, um, uh, running in SATA 3 mode, so it's got pretty fast storage, although it has horrible Intel HD graphics, which... You know, everyone knows kind of sucks. So, uh, yeah. We're working with... Eh, it's, it's okay, I guess. Alright, guys. What is up? Okay, so... Oh, why am I saying what is up? Alright, okay. So, guys, you now meet me here inside the Pavilion G6. And as you can see here, we are using a capture card. Not using OBS or anything. So, this is the true performance, okay? Currently, this is outputting a 1080p 60Hz signal, okay? So, first off, I would start with the gaming benchmarks normally, but I just want to, you know, it's a bit unfair, you know. Because, I mean, this thing is not a gaming laptop. Firefox, oh my. Ah. Uh, come on, you don't need to update right now. Can you please choose a better time to update? Okay, but look here, guys. So, I want to show off how well it does, you know, general tasks. Like, how, lo how it loads a YouTube video, how quickly it loads certain websites, you know. Because it's a bit unfair, okay, because this thing was never a gaming laptop. Even when it was new, it was really designed for general tasks tasks and you know maybe some light gaming on the side but not really you know anything else all right so yeah currently is being maxed out by what please microsoft compatibility telemetry this is the most mo what <laughs> it's not even firefox what the heck is windows powershell doing Man, I should have just let this update. It's not, this is a bit unfair because it's literally got telemetry running right now. Shut up. This is literally tiny Windows 10. How is it running? Why is there so much bloatware? Man, this is such a Windows moment. Where is the telemetry? So the tel Where is the telemetry? Hang on a second, I'm just going to end the telemetry. Be right back when I, you know, end all the stuff. Two thousand years later. All right, we are back, and as you can see, it's idling about eight percent with Firefox and Task Manager. So yeah, let's go ahead and you know leave Task Manager open here just to see you know if it like spikes back up again. Dismiss, dismiss. All right, so let's go and see how well it loads YouTube tab. Because that is pretty important, you know, watching YouTube. I mean, like, at this point, like, basically, like, 90%. I'm not even sure how much, but a lot of people use YouTube, okay, every day. So we're going to see how well that performs here. All right. YouTube. You can see that the CPU is maxing out almost. But as you can see here, we have a relatively fast Wi-Fi speed. And it is doing well. I mean, it's loading it. Yeah, sure, it's taking a little bit of time than I would expect, but it is doing it. Alright, it is doing it. And you can, you know, watch it. Let's go ahead and head over to Muya's AK video. Shout out to him, by the way. Um, uh, he, um, uh, he makes some pretty good content, but I, but I just want to focus on this one first, because it's a good, because it's the one that I always only use to test. Muya 8K. Alright, there you go. Alright, so this is probably not going to be able to handle 1080p 60. It'll be able to handle 720 60 or just straight up 1080p. No 60. Let's see here. What, what are we currently doing? 720p 60. And as you can see here, we are doing perfectly fine. It's very smooth. No drop frames. Okay, let me just go and open up stats for nerds here. That might lag the video a bit though. Yeah, it's lagging the video a bit trying to open up stats for nerds. But as you can see here, we have 8 gigabytes of RAM, and yeah. And just right click. I like how I just said, I was just praising this laptop. But it's prob but there you go, stats for nerds. So you can see here, we are dropping, I can't even read that number, because I'm currently looking through it with 
through the OBS capture, but I don't see see that number. The number isn't changing, so I think that's a good sign. All right, and yeah, as you can see, your CPU utilization is only at like 50%, but if I turn it up, it's going to immediately drop frames. So, uh, yeah, this thing can play YouTube videos relatively fine, and I can even, like, do some email stuff. Let's say we want to go to email. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. But, uh, yeah. So, as you can see here, it can do email stuff just fine. You know, it doesn't really lag on the Windows desktop like the Gateway or the Athlon 2 does. But, uh, yeah, this does a pretty decent job. Anyways, guys, on to the benchmarks, I guess. Starting in the deep end here with Crisis running at 800 by 600 at the lowest settings and sheesh is this game running horribly. With averages of 18 frames per second and 1% lows of 11, this is truly horrible. I blame this on the drivers as this game is driver dependent and this iGPU has no driver support whatsoever. This game looks like trash and runs horribly. The input lag is also unusable, this is a solid fail and did much worse than the G56 in my last video, which is quite surprising. Next up, we have a much easier game to run, Driver. And it, it, this is also extremely unplayable, even with 720 lowest settings. This is with averages of 19 and 1% lows of 15. It's, it's smooth-ish, like the frame times are decent, but the input lag is pretty terrible. Driver looks bad, runs bad, and it's just a fa failure overall on this laptop. This game ran significantly better on the G56. It's just surprising how bad drivers can be. On to the next game. Oblivion here. This is the first game that runs alright. With 800 by 600 low settings, which isn't the lowest, it is getting averages of 47 FPS and 1% lows of 25. This depends on mod of the scene, like if you're like in deep fights outside with a ton of like god rays or whatever, then yeah, you're gonna be getting bad frame rates. But it's running okay for what I've seen so far, which is a beginning mission. So Oblivion is a solid pass. Next up on the list, we have Drift Hunters. This game is extremely easy to run, so if it didn't run well here, well, I don't know what I would be doing. This game is running at potato quality, that's literally the name of the preset in this game at native re resolution, and we're getting a uh, usable 33 frames per second average with 1% lows of 20. That's because when there's smoke, which is basically like all the time when you're drifting, is a pretty bad problem. It's The, the frame rate just drops down to like 20s, and sometimes even the teens. This is a problem on like all the laptops I've tested on. Drift Hunter, although overall, Drift Hunter looks acceptable and runs alright, so Drift Hunters is a pass. Half-Life 2 here, another new benchmark, and we are getting a solid 52 FPS average, which is decent, with 1% lows of 45. And this is um, this is the first great, solid, awesome result from the G6. The game does look its best though, because it's running at 720p with the lowest settings, but hey, it runs alright, and you can't take that for granted on this laptop. That's something we don't see often on this laptop. Half-Life 2 is a solid pass, and runs great. On to the next benchmark. Next up, we have Beamin G Drive. This game is running poorly, with a whopping 21 FPS average and 1% lows of 12. This is with this SD r r definition, standard definition, and the lowest settings, including changing the resistance to basically nothing, or AKA 100. And any, and any Beamin G players in here knows that 100 view distance basically means nothing. This game is playable-ish though because the input lag is actually pretty decent, you know, compared to other 20 FPS results. BMG is barely a pass with these lower settings. Also, the game crashes randomly thanks to Intel's kind of um uh, drivers that don't really don't really do a good job of existing. But yeah, on to the next one. Gary's mod here, running at 800 by 600 with the lowest settings, and the frame rate is pretty awful for a game from 2006. Averages of 24 and 1% levels of 18 makes this game barely usable. This is with extremely basic testing, as more intensive maps, or like modded maps, will crawl on this laptop. But overall, for scenarios like these, it is barely playable. On to the next benchmark. The long drive here, running at 640x480, standard definition, which at this point is just a common thing for this laptop, and it's getting a decent 28 FPS average, which is actually better than what I was expecting. I mean, Looking at you know like others, look comparing it to the G56, which did which did significantly worse in this game for some reason, not the other games. 
but I think it's because the RAM, okay? It meets the recommended 8GB of RAM, and the 1% low is reflective, being only t 24. Well, more like being at 24, which is pretty decent. The game is shockingly decent on this old laptop, okay? So, uh, yeah, long drive, got optimization for Intel non-existent drivers, so, uh, yeah, pretty decent. Second to last benchmark here, is, which is Muck. This game represents how more modern, relatively intensive indie games will run, and it is not doing well. Running at standard definition, again, we are getting a barely playable 23 frames per second average, but it is with smooth times smooth frame times, the 1% lows are 20 frames per second, which reflects the good frame times. The game is also running at lowest settings, so it doesn't really look that great, and the input lag, it's, it's not great, I mean, it's a first-person survival game, so you'd want something decent in terms of input lag. But yeah, overall, it's running much, much better than I thought it would, considering G56's performance. But yeah, on to the next benchmark. The last game we have on the list here, which will be we would be testing today, is Minecraft 1.16.5, running in windowed mode because the game would crash in full screen, with the low settings, and we are getting a shockingly decent result of 20 frames per second average and 1% lows of 10. The game is a bit stuttery, but you know, no, it's just, it stutters even on my 7600x PC because it's single player and has to generate the chunks locally. But this is significantly better than G56 did. G56 got like 13, and this got like 27, almost 30 frames per second. Although this is an older version of the game, which kind of does explain it, but still though, pretty decent, okay? So overall, this laptop is really decent, can do general tasks really well, and maybe play some lighter-ish supported games, and yeah, Overall, it's a pretty decent laptop, and it's the first ever laptop that, you know, I've gotten to, you know, truly tinker around with. But anyways, guys, see you in the next video, okay? Thank you guys so much for th almost 350 subs, okay? Hopefully we can hit 1K by the end of this year, okay? Anyways, guys, see you in the next video, okay? Subscribe!